you come home from a long day of work, you sit home and all you want to do is nothing. You just want to watch TV, flip the channels, watch news, watch where the, you know, the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, you want to check what's going on in the world, even though you won't remember any of it, nor do you care, but this is your form of entertainment. And your kid comes over, your five-year-old comes over. Dad, look what I made. Look what I did. Dad, play with me. Come on, let's do something. Let's play tag. And they're talking to you, talking to you, talking to you. What are you doing? Could you leave me alone? I'm trying to watch the news. And you'll cause my... Can you... Hey, Fatima! Can you get rid of him, please? I just came home from work. I need some peace. I don't need to hear this. Don't you have toys I bought you? Go play with those. Same child, 10 years later. He's 15 years old. And you're picking him up from school and you say, So, son, how was your day? Uh -huh. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you talk to any friends? Maybe. Where are you going to go later? Somewhere. What are you going to do? Uh -huh. They won't talk to you. And then you come, my, come tell the Imam, you know, the, my kid doesn't talk to me. Yeah, you didn't talk to him. You didn't talk to him all this time. You didn't have time. You didn't create a relationship first. How is it going to just come out of nowhere? It doesn't. And those are the ages, by the way, 10, 11, 12, 13. Those are the critical ages. At those ages, you know, before then, parent, children are most obsessed with making their parents proud. Doesn't even matter what religion you're from. This is just pure psych child psychology. Young children just want to make their parents proud. They want to show their parents what they've done. The biggest source of influence to them is their parents. Not in my household. I shave my son's head and I say, that looks cool, I'll do it myself. So it's the other way. But usually kids want to be like their parents. You know? They want to do everything their parents do. If I'm sitting there typing on a laptop, I'll tell my, even my two-year-old. I'll give him a toy, he'll leave that alone. He wants to type on the laptop. Why? Because Abba's doing it. They want to be like you. But that changes as they get to a certain age. Now they want to be like their other friends. And more importantly, they want to be nothing like you. They want to be the exact opposite of everything you are. They go through that phase. They're getting into a dangerous age. And that critical age, if you didn't already have a very open, friendly, clear, transparent, loving relationship, if that, that wasn't already there, you've, you're in for some serious trouble. There's some serious trouble headed your way.